to the course. So in this uh, lecture, we are going to learn how to download any data set from Kaggle to Google Colab directly. So it's a very easy procedure. So first of all, we're going to go to the Kaggle.com, the home page. Okay. And then we will go into uh, your photo. Uh, first, you have, of course, to sign in. Okay. Uh, I signed in personally using my Gmail. So you can sign in using Gmail or any other option. And then you're going to go to setting. Okay. From here, then it will show some information about you. And then you're going to create a new token. Okay. So let's create a new token. It's asking you to download and then save. Great. Then we are going to open this token. Okay. It's a .json file. So you're going to open it with any text editor you have. So with text edit, and here is your token okay so this is the username and that's the key and then you're gonna go to Google Colab you are going to go to new notebook okay so let's start from scratch and then you're gonna write uh, let's wait for it to open yes here okay then you're gonna install uh, two things uh, no certainly it's it's one thing pip install open data sets Okay, so I got it from here. This is the article I read from. You will gonna find it in the reference in the description section of the course, of this lecture. Okay, so just give it some time to start. And I think it's started. Yes. Okay, so yeah, that's it. So now we installed the library. Now let's go to, uh, to get any data set. Okay, so any example of any data set let's go to data sets maybe this one air quality in hyderabad pollution so let's take this one and we're gonna see the data set is provided as a csv file and the csv file name is called a key data set so we're gonna take the link and go to google collab you will write od dot uh, download it was yeah od dot download okay and you're gonna put between double quotes the link. After you do that, it will ask you for, ah, sorry, I need to import the library. So import open data sets as OD. And you're gonna do, uh, download. So it's asking you for the username. So I'm gonna take my username and then I'm gonna take my Kaggle key, which is this one. Okay, and and it's downloading so it's fast then you're gonna find it here if you go to files air quality index data a key data set csv so let's have a look on it import pandas as pd and data equal pd dot read csv and you will take this one uh, right click on this one sorry not right click you're gonna take it from here and copy path and you're gonna put your path here let's run and we have read it data.head and so, sorry not this one this is a typo and that's all here is your data set and you can then start working so this is um, way more efficient so the older or the older way without using this uh, library was just to download and then you go here and upload okay it's a longer way, but you can do with the with the API token. You can download it easily that way. And uh, also, there is one thing I want to mention that the API token you have downloaded here has some time and then it will expire. I don't remember how long exactly. You will find it on the website on Kaggle. But uh, I believe it was maybe 48 hours or something. Maybe you can check it together. I don't know if they will write it here can find it in the documentation, of course. But anyway, it will take like a couple of days and then it will expire. So if it expired, you can go and generate one, uh, one, one, one more time. Okay, no problem about that. Because it's a security issue, it can, uh, it can expire after some time and then you can generate a new one, it's totally for free. And yeah, that's it. So I hope everything is clear. And if you have any questions, please write in, uh, in the questions section or in the comments section. Thank you.